Hello YouTube, it's Peter Game in Scotland here and welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are well and gaming lots. So in today's video, I'll be delving deep into the gaming news of the last couple of weeks. Really wanted to do a gaming news video every week, but sometimes that isn't possible. So I'm going to sit down and just chat about the gaming news that I want to chat about in today's episode. We've got a lot of gaming related news coming up. Sit back, relax and enjoy. So first up we have a new trailer and a release date for Spider-Man coming onto the PS4 and Xbox One from September the 7th. I'm really looking forward to this game. I played all the Spider-Man games back on PS2 and I believe on PS1 as well. But definitely on the PS2, flying around New York so I would love to see a brand new Spider-Man game flying around New York with updated graphics and follow Peter Parker on his journey and obviously slinging all the baddies and everything like that. Really looking forward to it and it's coming from the makers of Ratchet and Clank Insomniac Games. They're fantastic uh, developer, they made a fantastic franchise in, in, in Ratchet and Clank and I can't wait to see what they've done with a new Spider-Man game coming on September the 7th. Also, in September, September is going to be a really busy month for games. I've got three, uh, I've got three in total. Another two more to speak about, and potentially even more that haven't been uh, announced yet. So, if you fantastic time to be a gamer, especially in coming in September. The second game on my list is a new one from Tomb Raider franchise, and it's Shadow of the Tomb Raider. So we've. we've recently seen artwork and a new trailer from the guys over at Tomb Raider. It's a sequel I believe to Rise of the Tomb Raider that was a timed exclusive for Xbox One and Microsoft but it did come out on PlayStation 4 I believe 2016 we got it so and that was a fantastic game. Really since the reboot the three games, the first game back in 2013, that was 2016, and now this one will be 2018. All three of them, well the two that I've played, the two rebooted games, absolutely fantastic. Really fantastic games, similar to Uncharted. So I really have high hopes for Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and hopefully it will be a fantastic game to play. Fantastic characters, graphics, fantastic open world to explore. And collecting all those collectibles that I just love doing, half to 100% the game. So there are two fantastic games coming in September. And finally we have the long awaited news, that the first three original games of Spyro are coming back and getting remastered from the ground up and released on September 21st for PS4 and Xbox One. Now, if you know me, you know I'm a massive Crash Bandicoot fan a massive Spyro fan and a massive PlayStation fan in general so having the three games from the three best Spyro games I would say because there has been a lot of Skylanders Spyro stuff and a lot of other spin-off and other games in the Spyro sort of universe and series and franchise really over the years but these are the best three I would say in my opinion Spyro games so I'm absolutely delighted that they're coming back getting made from the ground up and remastered to beautiful uh, graphics and also the original I believe the original soundtrack and the original voice actors are coming back as well I believe please correct me if I'm wrong in the, in the comment section but that's what I have been reading so uh, September I just cannot wait for September and all the other games of that have been confirmed for this year <coughs> we have God of War coming out in a couple of weeks in April we have Detroit Become Human in May, nothing in June, July, August that we know about yet. September is going to have Spider-Man, it's going to have Shadow of the Tomb Raider, it's going to have Spiral the Reignited Trilogy, three original map, um, games coming back and there's normally a FIFA game at the end of September as well, probably FIFA 19. FIFA normally comes out in September, but that hasn't been confirmed yet. <coughs> and a potential for uh, Watch Dogs 3 as well, that hasn't been confirmed, it's just rumours at this stage. But if Watch Dogs 3 came out also this year, this would be a fantastic game and month. 
obviously it's not been confirmed that it's coming out but I think it's in development as Watch Dogs, uh, Ubisoft are uh, leaking, I think it's own personal robot Sam it's called online on the website actually if you confirmed it when uh, Watch Dogs 3 is coming out it actually replied to you and said that it was actually in development and it's really looking forward to getting released this year so fingers crossed that'll come out so that is all the games I wanted to talk about. September is going to look like it's going to be a fantastic month and from the games that we know that have been announced this year is going to be another fantastic game for PlayStation in terms of its games. But anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. I've been Peter Gaming Scotland and I'll see you on another video. Thanks very much indeed guys.